Hello students, welcome to Study Live. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic that is Faraday's first law of electrolysis. Yes student, Faraday has put forward two laws for electrolysis out of which we are going to study now Faraday's first law of electrolysis. Yes student, let's first see what exactly is Faraday's first law of electrolysis. So Faraday's first law of electrolysis Says that we can say that the amount of substance that has been undergoing oxidation or reduction when we are carrying out electrochemical process. Yes. So amount of substance undergoing oxidation or reduction at each electrode during what electrolysis is directly proportional to what it is very important to remember it is directly proportional to the amount of electricity that we pass through the cell yes or no definitely yes so this is nothing but faraday's first law of electrolysis so the amount of substance getting oxidized or reduced going to depend upon what how much amount of electricity we are passing through it yes definitely to understand this topic very well let's try to understand the formula derived from this law so what we can say over here student so we can say the amount of substance getting oxidized or reduced is directly proportional to the amount of electricity pass through it so it is directly proportional so to remove the proportionality sign over here we are going to add z over here so we need to understand the terms involved over here student so again w is mass of substance mass of substance yes or no deposited you should remember this part student that it has to be in grams yes student definitely where i and t what is that amount of electricity passed i is electricity amount of electricity passed for how much period of time amount of electricity passed per unit time it is very important yes student now the next important term that is z what this z is exactly means z is nothing but we can say because as we have discussed w is directly proportional to it so we are adding z to remove the proportionality sign so can we say it is nothing but proportionality constant yes or no definitely yes so it is nothing but proportionality constant or we can say it as electrochemical equivalent yes student you need to remember this name it is also called as electrochemical what equivalent yes or no student definitely yes now so this z electrochemical equivalent it's a very interesting term let's understand this part more what we can say about z we can say about z it is nothing but amount of substance produced when we have passed 1 coulomb of electricity can we say that yes definitely so i'm repeating myself z is nothing but amount of substance produced when we passed 1 coulomb of electricity through it yes now again i am repeating myself z the formula for z we can say it as z is equals to equivalent weight of the substance that we have considered upon upon what student upon 96500 zero zero. 
Now this is another value that we have got that is 96500. What it is exactly student? So you need to remember this part student. The 96500 value that we have got over here. The 96500. It is nothing but student. Faraday's constant. You need to remember this. Yes, this Faraday's constant. The exactly value student is 96487, but we have round off it. We are going to consider it as 96500. Now, what this exactly Faraday's constant means, we need to remember this part. This Faraday's constant means this value exactly tells us that charge present it is nothing but charge present on what student on we if we have taken one mole of electrons yes or no student definitely yes so we can say this 96500 is the value what the charge present if we are taking one mole of electrons yes student so this is nothing but faraday's first law of electrolysis and the formula involved in it you need to remember this it's very important i'm hoping student you understood this topic very well thank you student thank you for watching study life